Hi, my name is Anju Tomar. I'm the Clinical Applications Manager for Automated Breast Ultrasound. Thanks for visiting here at RSNA today. Mammography is the first line for screening women for breast cancer, and that is the gold standard. But we know when women have dense breast tissue, mammography might not be enough. At GE Healthcare, we believe in personalized screening and offering a customized uh, care for a woman in the screening environment. For the right screen, for the right um, risk factor and providing the right study for them. So automated breast ultrasound is a solution for supplemental screening for women with dense breast tissue by at C and D where the sensitivity of mammography goes down quite a bit in detecting cancers in dense breast tissue. So giving a woman an opportunity to have supplemental screening is really where GE Healthcare believes in providing a whole solution to do the right screening for the right risk factor. Automated breast ultrasound is um, a way for us to acquire images easily, efficiently, and ergonomically to make screening a good experience for women. And so it's efficient for the sonographers or the technologists that are doing the study, for the radiologists that are reading, and also for the patient to have a very nice experience in getting the screening. NVIDIA Avis was designed with screening in mind to make it easy, efficient, and ergonomic. We use a software beam former to acquire images, which takes a the variability of handheld ultrasound and it introduces reproducibility from one person to another person from year to year. We have imaging algorithms that make our images quite nice and it makes the screening image quality very, very exquisite because we don't know where the cancer is and we want an image quality that gives us uh, the ability to find those tiny cancers, which is where automated breast ultrasound fits in to is finding the uh, tiny cancers and it's all about early detection and saving lives. So when images are acquired, we typically do three views per breast and each view is about 45 second acquisition. So in all, it's about a six minute scan time and then about a 20 minute in and out of the room in a screening environment. And once the images are acquired, they're all sent to a workstation for a radiologist to interpret them in addition to looking at the mammography at the same time. So once the images come across, this is a mammo. This is the dense breast tissue. This is where we are trying to have supplemental screening because we know cancers hide in um, dense breast tissue. It's a masking effect. It's like finding a snowball in a snowstorm. Adding ultrasound helps us find cancers easily. We acquire images. They go in the coronal plane once the radiologists are trained to review the images. They're looking for any kind of speculation, asymmetry in the breast, any black holes. Once they see something, they place a marker there. It tells them exactly where in the breast they are. They're at 11.30, about four and a half cm from the nipple, about nine millimeters underneath the skin surface. At this point, I have the 3D data set. I've essentially placed the breast in the reading room in the workstation for the radiologist to do the review. My mouse turns into a probe for me where I can actually rotate the data set to, to evaluate the extent of disease in the surrounding tissue. This gives us enough information for the radiologists and also for the surgeons uh, when they are going to decide on what they do next and how much tissue is involved, surrounding tissue is involved. Also, as I go back, I see more areas these are all very irregular areas seen very well. I even see some microcalcifications in the uh, irregularities here. These happen to be invasive ductal cancer, a multicentric disease that was missed on this mammal. And this is why we're supplementing with ultrasound for women that have BIRAD C and D for density. The one thing that is unique for us that makes the exam really a comfortable study for a patient is the reverse curve probe. It's our patented technology. It makes the exam comfortable for the woman. It helps us get really good image quality because we can 
um, address the curvature of the breast and get good contact with all of the breast tissue from one end to the other. And then all the images, um, basically, once they're acquired, they're stacked. This is where we can get good contact from one end to the other uh, with the reverse curve probe. Our image quality behind the nipple is because of the imaging algorithms that we're using and software beamforming that we're doing. It helps us see beautifully from one end to the other end, from anterior to posterior, in every single view, making screening an easy um, way, screening easy for the uh, radiologist to read.